I abruptly stopped uploading videos back in June and I'm aware that some people were concerned by that. Uh, I apologise. Uh, it was my intention to uh, upload an explanation as to why I'd stopped uploading. But um, I was so angered and hurt and I've been wrestling with the issues so much that I, I just I just couldn't uh, I couldn't bring myself to sit down and have to try and do this. This is this is an attempt at an explanation, a full explanation. Where to start? Where to start? Oh, dear. Right, why why do I what why have I taken all these photographs and done these videos over the years? When I moved here, because I come from the city uh, I was absolutely amazed at what I was seeing. I was I was amazed at how behind the times this place was and how much better it was and how much nicer and the scenery and everything I saw was amazing. Um, fresher's eye, I think they call that. I I I don't know. <clears throat> but every everything 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 was amazing to me because I have never seen such things never seen such amazing sights so um, I ended up recording on, on the camera um, I, I owned a camera when I came to live here uh, because it was originally bought for evidence gathering of uh, the horrors that um, I encountered where I used to live that was why I had a camera I'm no professional photographer or any of that um, <clears throat> But I came here and amazing things I was seeing and I wanted to share what I was seeing. I was, you know, there on my own with the dog, walking every day, seeing amazing stuff. Amazing. You know, just people going around their business here is so different. So amazing some of these things to me. Perhaps if you've lived here all your life, you don't get that. You don't get that. Uh, anyway, so when I first moved here, I used to, I used to do music videos. Um, I'd record these amazing things I saw. And if I could, I would set them to an appropriate piece of music. And, and purely for, for sharing the, the, the amazement of these scenes, um, I, I would um, burn DVDs and I'd give them away to anybody who was interested. They, they appeared to be well received and people enjoyed them and uh, you know, I carried on like that for a while. Uh, subsequently, you know, we're, we're going back a decade or more here. Um, you know, I, I think I've seen the end of the best of bricks, and I think that was about a decade ago. Since that time, I've seen things decline. I, I, I'm sorry to say, I've, I've definitely seen the place decline. I, I saw the end of the best of it. Maybe some of the locals would agree with that. Well, I know they do. And it's not simply, oh, you know, older people have a different view of things. No, I've seen things decline. Anyway, um, uh, yeah, after giving out DVDs and all of that, eventually um, I, I sort of um, moved on to social media because that was on the rise and it appeared that uh, there were many pages set up for uh, just sharing photos of Brixham and scenes of Brixham and stuff like that. Pure, innocent entertainment for people who were interested. And... I ended up embracing some of these, uh, these, these social media pages. One of them I joined was uh, Bricks and Commercial Fishing. I forget the wording now, but the, the page was set up to show the work of the fishing industry. I think that was the way it was worded. And uh, I, was, I was surprised on that page how, how relatively dormant it was and the lackluster photos that people were <laughs> putting up given the things I was seeing every day. So it was very easy for me to embrace that and actually start doing some serious focusing on, on the, the fishermen just uh, just for their pleasure. Thousands of hours I put into that over the years, thousands of hours um, showing them themselves, just holding a mirror up for them. Um, quite a few people appreciated that. It, it appeared at the time. It wasn't long 
after engaging with social media, Facebook specifically, that I, I began to encounter the cesspit that Facebook is with regard to people's commenting and, and abuse and all of that which we're now so familiar with on Facebook. It, it reached the point where I, I, I could hardly put up um, a, a post of anything uh, without people criticising me or having a go over something. Very often, most often probably, this fantasy, this fantasy of oh, personal privacy. You can't take my photo without asking my permission. Oh dear, oh dear. I mean, re re if people are going to be so flipping ignorant, why don't they? If, if it's that big a deal to them, why don't they go on the internet and actually research the subject? so that they don't look so ignorant when they come up with the tripe. You have no right to privacy in a public space. Zero. A photographer does not need to ask anybody's permission, children included. In this country, a photographer does not need to ask your permission. You do not have, nobody has in this country, thank God, a magical bubble of privacy no matter where they go. But, nonetheless, yeah, I got loads of, loads of abuse and criticism over, constantly over things like that. It got so bad that I was afraid to make any comment whatsoever when I posted something. I would simply put where and when it was. I even got criticism for that. I, I dabbled with turning off the comments. I was criticised for that. Apparently if you post something on social media you're asking for the criticism and the abuse. It's everyone's right to abuse you if you post something on social media. I don't see it that way. Who, who hijacks social media for that purpose? I think social media should be a reflection of how, how we respond to each other in the street, i.e. a bit of common decency and a bit of courtesy. Uh, see, I'm coming across all angry. There's going to be a lot of edits in this. But I'm, I'm hurt and I'm damaged by what, what's happened here. Right, one of the one of the events. I mean, there's been so many. You know, one one of the notable events to me was um, I filmed, as I I always film the Coast Guard and the lifeboat, all of that because they are engaged in important stuff. We're talking life and death stuff. They're engaged in the very pinnacle of what is important in all of the people's lives that are involved. All this dross that goes on every day, it'll reach a pinnacle. At times, for instance, when somebody needs a lifeboat or somebody is hurt on the Coast Guard. And, and that's newsworthy stuff. I got into thinking I was almost like a photojournalist. And uh, I, I, still, I, I still do that. I will, I will still do that, always. Because it's important moments in people's lives. Anyway. Uh, it, 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 it came to a crunch, I mean there's been many, uh, but it came to a crunch when, when a fisherman fell off the harbour wall and it injured himself and he had to be carried out by the coast guards. Inevitably, you know, a big scene of all this going on, I'm going to film that. Who wouldn't? Who wouldn't? Well apparently a lot of morons wouldn't, because it's an invasion of privacy. So I was criticised for this video by people who weren't even in the video. The very person who was a casualty in the video uh, I had communication with and he had no problem with it. And yet other people complained on his behalf and that, all of that unpleasantness which was directed at me there and my attempts to defend myself resulted in me being suddenly blocked from a couple of Facebook pages, including bricks and commercial fishing. So the thousands of hours that I put into that 
showing the real lives of the of the local fishermen at the click of a mouse that was all deleted and thrown away that meant nothing it meant a lot to me historical value some of those images I think some of the some of what I mean I'm not a brilliant photographer I'm, I'm not a photographer but some of the images I got I thought were absolutely cracking never before seen but that meant nothing I was I was blocked all of that was deleted it was it was pretty much around about then that I, you know I just had to get off of Facebook because it was damaging me too much it was damaging me too much and blocked from you know some of the primary pages I mean that's a whole nother video about who blocked me and why um, you know Facebook is, is pretty meaningless to me now I, I can't see the primary pages I've no idea what's going on around the place spotted Brixham uh, a complete waste of time now in Brixham for similar reasons actually um, you know people complaining about nothing and having it blocked and so, so spotted Brixham it effectively doesn't exist in Brixham anymore there's one page that does I've been blocked from it so I got no idea what's going on in Brixham anymore. Anyway, this is uh, I, I was going to try and keep this straight and not to get bogged down in this. Anyway, I, I withdrew from Facebook effectively. I you know it was it was impossible for me to continue. So the, the 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 people that got what I was doing and appreciated it for a a bit of entertainment and feel good about Brixham. That's all it was. Entirely innocent. They, they, their, their little bit of enjoyment about what I was doing, they, they were deprived of that because I had to, uh, you know, there, there was just no way I could continue with Facebook doing it. Around about that time, I, um, <clears throat> I, I decided, you know, okay, Facebook, you can keep, keep doing what you're doing. I'll, I'll go off over here and do my own thing for the people that might be interested. And that coincided with, with getting bare. It was, it was a, uh, Partially about, right, new dog, how's he going to be getting on? Um, but also a vehicle to include all of these amazing things I see on a daily basis. So that's that's what all of the Bears Bricks and video thing was all about. Again, entirely innocent. Minority interest, but enjoyable to some people. Some people appreciate it. And it is those people I, I am apologizing to for not having tried to do this video before believe me what's it now three months every single minute of every day it's been going around and around and around it's it's damaging me I, I so I need to get this done in some form and done today <clears throat> um, actually just to, just to leave the point about the YouTube videos um, it's it's a free gift it's uh, you know if you want to watch it watch it if you don't 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 start putting comments on all the videos criticizing me and having a go I don't need that <laughs> what's what's what does that achieve you know if you don't like it just don't watch them quite simple they're innocent they're observational it is what I saw I am filming what I saw. I've got no axe to grind. I'm not trying to make money. None of the videos have got adverts plastered across them, have they? I haven't signed up to make money out of this. Quite the opposite. It's cost me quite a bit of money. And effort. And time. My gift to you. The only, the only videos on YouTube that do have adverts on is where I've uh, somehow captured a bit of uh, ambient music or some... Um, performer has a backing track and uh, YouTube is ruthless it identifies uh, any copyrighted music and it'll impose adverts on my videos I hate that I'd much rather there were no adverts um, anyway that aside uh, this is rambling but you, you, there are so many little pieces to this puzzle here <clears throat>